After the release of Boruto, 2 Blue Vortex Chapter 10, many questions arose. What happened to Sarada and Hidari? Is Inojin really dead? Chapter 11 will provide answers to these questions. Now, let's predict the events of Chapter 11. In Chapter 10, as soon as Inojin was struck, Himawari was consumed by rage. Fans know she will be incredibly angered by this and will use the power of the Nine Tails to its full extent. She has already manifested the basic tailed beast state, which precedes the chakra cloaks that a Jinchuriki manifests. This will greatly increase her powers and give her healing abilities. In fact, her fractured foot has already healed, and fans know that from here on, Himawari will be a threat to Jura. However, in her current state, she cannot hope to defeat him. This is why Boruto, 2 Blue Vortex Chapter 11 might see Himawari enter a heightened state. She could enter a dangerous state similar to the Tailed Beast Cloak, possibly manifesting many tails or gaining a completely different power. It should be noted that Kurama is in complete synergy with Himawari. This means she should theoretically be able to access the perfect Jinchuriki state of the Nine Tails Chakra Mode. However, this is not possible right now. To control the perfect Jinchuriki state, one must learn perfect chakra control. The Tailed Beast's chakra is massive for any normal human to control, which is why even Killer B couldn't enter Eight Tails Chakra Mode. Although Himawari is not an ordinary shinobi, she is still inexperienced and unaware of serious combat. Even Naruto didn't enter KCM mode until he learned to control his emotions. If she were able to use KCM mode from the beginning, it would mess up Boruto's power scaling. Is Inojin dead? This question is complicated. If you remember the first battle between Naruto and Sasuke, Sasuke attacked Naruto with Chidori, making a hole in Naruto's chest, but Kurama's chakra healed it quickly. In the war, Naruto was able to heal Kakashi's eye, so, there is a good chance Inojin will be saved. However, while Kurama's chakra can heal wounds, it cannot bring back the dead. If Inojin is already dead, nothing can be done. Sarada vs. Hidari is a long-awaited battle. Boruto, 2 Blue Vortex Chapter 11 will also give fans a glimpse of Sarada vs. Hidari. This battle began in the previous chapter, with Hidari using a powerful Chidori to try to kill Sarada. She managed to gracefully avoid this blow and strike back with a powerful Chidori of her own. Sarada has drawn first blood, and from here onwards, this battle will be incredibly exciting. Fans will likely see a proper exchange between these two, with Hidari growing more into his abilities in this chapter. Sarada likely cannot defeat him on her own, which might lead other characters, such as Konohamaru or even Sumire, to join the battle and showcase their true capabilities. This battle might also reveal the true power of Sarada's Mangekyo Sharingan. Boruto's entry on the battlefield. We may not see Boruto enter the battlefield right away unless the situation worsens. In Boruto Chapter 9, Kawaki forcefully triggered Boruto's karma, which might have had deeper effects on him. Even Shikamaru asked Boruto what happened, but he just said it was a small accident. However, there is a strong possibility of Boruto entering the battlefield. After hearing from Shikamaru that Himawari is in danger, Kawaki and Boruto were both shocked. So, Boruto might come to the battlefield if Kawaki is defeated. However, Boruto's entry could make the situation worse because if Boruto loses control and Momoshiki takes over him, it could be an even bigger threat to everyone. Many questions have arisen after the time skip, and even the power scaling is unstable for now. But this is just the beginning of the story. Over time, we will get answers to each question. That's all for today. Stay tuned with us.